I'm going to build a graveyard in The Sims. I realize this sounds a bit morbid, okay? But I have a lot of dead Sims and I need somewhere to put them. Oh, it sounds really bad, but look, hear me out. So I'm playing this legacy challenge on my channel. I'll link the playlist down below if you want to watch it. But we're on generation four and like currently pregnant with generation five. So, you know, we've had a lot of Sims in this series and I have a lot of graves in this series and I kind of want to have somewhere to put them. Like I feel bad just having them in my inventory because I do kind of just have my Sims carry them around. Like I got this one right here and my Sim that used to be holding them just died. So I have another bunch of them. Look at this. And I got three pet gravestones. <laughs> it really does sound bad, but like I'm four generations, it's bound to happen. So I kind of want to find somewhere to put these. I want to make a cool lot. Could be a fun spot to visit. And you know what? The land grabs are just chilling in their front yard. I could bring them. Oh, hello land grab family. Let me just, oh, can I not put you in my inventory? Oh. Okay, well, they're not invited anymore. You can just hang out in the front yard. That's fine. <laughs> I don't mind. I think I may build it in Forgotten Hollow. I want to show you what I'm planning because I was an avid player of The Sims 3 and The Sims 3 had like actual graveyard lot types. This was the one from Sunset Valley, the base game world. So you can kind of see it's got a mausoleum. It has like a pond. They've got some fancy fencing. There's a bunch of gravestones and stuff. Kind of looks like a park almost, <laughs> but obviously there's like tombstones around the sides. I kind of want to go for a layout a bit similar to this. I'm not sure about the pond thing. <laughs> I guess we're gonna have a pond tool in The Sims 4 in like a month when the new pack comes out, but for now, I mean, I feel a bit weird putting like a fountain there. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but this is the vibes that we're going for. I'm just gonna get rid of this really fast. This is a small lot. Is it a bad idea to build it here? Should I have picked the bigger one? Oh. I didn't really think about that. Now, obviously this graveyard is going to be very customized to my Sims and my Sims graves. But if you wanna like download it, I'll put it on the gallery for you anyway. And then you could like, you know, replace the graves with your own. Oh, that's a bit dark. Oh, this'll work. Okay, okay. Part of me kind of wants to put instead of a mausoleum, like a tiny little creepy-ish church looking building. Cause we don't have mausoleums. See, I'm kind of picturing something like this. This is really similar to the Sims 3 one. I realized that. But then there would be like the graves sort of over there. Maybe I'll make it smaller because I can always expand it eventually, but I don't want it to be a square. I don't have that many graves to put in here yet, you know? So like maybe this is for the best. Okay. Oh, I didn't think about this, but what lot type would it be? Do we make it like a park? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to put like playground equipment or I guess maybe a national park. Maybe that's better. Oh, I wish we had actual ponds. Now I'm like, this would be so much better if we had a real pond to put there. Oh, well, it's fine. I don't really know what to do with this church type building. I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it out. I think for now, what I want to try and do though is get trees. This tree by default is so much bigger than I want it to be. <laughs> I don't really know what to do about that either. Like, I guess that's probably fine. At least when it's big, it's like over the fence and not cutting into the fence, if that makes sense. Do I care if it cuts into the fence? Yeah, I do. Uh, what do I do? Can I put them like that? Is that weird? No, that seems pretty normal to me. Ooh. Oh, maybe that's good. And then there can be graves here, graves here. And then eventually if I like have more, I can expand it, right? Maybe even into the middle, but for now the middle can have none. I don't want to put a, like a grill and a picnic table at this place. I feel dirty being like, okay, let's go for a picnic at the graveyard. But it's worse. The playground equipment is worse. Like there being a creepy swing set here or something, you, <laughs> that's even worse. Like, could you imagine? Like the swings at the graveyard? No. If you make it a museum, I could just make it a generic lot type, I know, but I'm trying to think about ways that we could make this place multifunctional. 10 wall decor. Obviously it would need a bathroom too. Well, we probably should put a bathroom on this lot no matter what. I also want it to be a bit spooky. Yeah, see, I'm not really sure that this place needs like windows. We can just put the art on the walls that we were talking about. Oh, that's scary. That's a really big door. <laughs> to then have it just go into the bathroom is kind of funny. No, we'll pick a normal door, <laughs> a smaller door that feels more appropriate maybe. So they want five sculptures, but that could be like any sort of statue, which doesn't seem that out of the ordinary for a place like this. Oh, even these count as sculptures? Oh, <laughs> well, that's fine. <laughs> We could stick some of these somewhere. Even like the little cracks count as wall decor, which to me feels a bit sneaky for me to do, but we can put that around the doors and stuff easily. Like you could stick, I don't know, some water damage behind the toilet and I could just flat out hide these behind the paintings, <laughs> like size them down and hide them behind the paintings. You'd never know they're there. I think our problem is solved. I wish that we had rose bushes that felt more appropriate. Of course, again, they're adding rose bushes like in the new pack. 
but I'm trying to do this now and we don't have rose bushes yet. Like these don't feel like what I'm going for, if that makes sense. These look like The Sims 3. I guess if we're trying to make a build that's inspired by The Sims 3, these are probably the right things to use, huh? Actually, oh, actually, hmm. Maybe that is good. Yeah, we can make that work. Okay, it needing an easel is a bit inconvenient, but I guess coming to paint at the scary graveyard, that's not that unreasonable. Let me bring a sim here. Because Mavis has all my graves. So if we bring her over, we can start laying everything out. Oh, we could have like a pet side and a human side. That's a bit gross. That's a bit dark, but it, it's gonna have to happen. Or maybe because there's less pet ones. We could put them like over there. For now, I'm gonna lay the humans out this way. That's Chelsea. Okay, I think this is how I wanna do it for now. I don't have Chelsea's husband's grave, <laughs> so we can't put that down. Noah's wife's not dead yet. She's the sim we brought here. Amber and Miriam were married for a long time, but this was Amber's first fiance. He died before they could get married. So <laughs> I put him there, but they're together. Then I put Bella and, and Skyla together, and then their kids are here. I think that's good for now, right? And then I guess as like filler, we can put these graves over this way. We don't have that many pet graves yet, but we can, you know, eventually we'll add to that. I hate to say it, but like, it's true. I mean, obviously, like, these sims aren't all dead yet, but they're gonna die, and we're gonna have a bunch more, <laughs> and we're playing on short lifespan, so like, it's not gonna be that far away <laughs> until we get those. Is doing terrain paint like this, like, weird? I don't know, I'm just trying to make it look like there's actually something happening. I don't know, it's kind of creepy though. Oh my gosh, maybe I could put, like, stuff here in honor of them. Like Dylan Lemons. Oh, I have a lemon. See? Maybe I'll size it up. There's for you, Dylan Lemons. <laughs> Amber was an astronaut, so maybe we could give her like a rocket ship. I don't remember much about Miriam, I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to remember like what Miriam was into, but I- <laughs> I've forgotten. I can't even find Miriam on the family tree because she wasn't blood related to any of us. Oh, now I feel bad. Maybe she can have a flower. <laughs> Look, it was a long time ago, okay? She's long gone. Belle was a programmer and Skyla was an actress. Maybe we can give Skyla an award. This is a sales award. That's not- has nothing to do with acting. Oh, this is- you know what? My Sim would have gotten this award. This is like an innovators and excellence thing. She would have gotten that from her career. So we can keep that. There's gotta be some like debug trophy. Yeah, there we go. Skyla never won anything. Um but we can pretend that she did and give her an acting trophy. Perhaps some little purple flowers for Chelsea. Noah did lots of things. He was a ghost hunter, then he was a fashion designer. I might give him a, a little ghost thing though, in honor of his first uh, life goal. <laughs> Oh, do you know what? This kind of makes me feel emotional. I kind of like it. This part is sad. <laughs> the pet ones, the pet ones are making me feel upset. I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so we had Jim, we had Turtle, and we had Spatula. I wonder if eventually I could just get some photos of each of those pets and put them there, but we can come back to that. Because again, if you download this lot, you don't care about that stuff. <laughs> it's more just like a functional space for you to put your gravestones if you want to. I know that me saying this reminds me of The Sims 3 is like not a good thing usually, but I mean that in a in a good way. This is making me happy. <laughs> it's taking me back to my roots. The Sims 3 one was called the Pleasant Rest Graveyard. So we can just do that again, I guess. I'm gonna put the trash can in the back. I know this is a bit weird, but like, I don't know how often you're gonna need that. So just keep it away. I think that's fine, I think. And then if there's like, obviously we'd like rotate some of these trees around so they don't all look identical identical. Is that like really fancy? Is that too much? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what people do for this kind of thing. And then we put roses on opposite ends possibly. Something that I always do when I'm doing stuff like this, I mentioned it earlier with the trees, is I like to rotate some of the bushes around because the bushes like obviously they're all identical. So because the bushes, the trees, all the plants are obviously all identical. So I like to rotate them around a little bit so that when they're next to each other, it doesn't look identical. Like obviously it is, but if you've like twisted it, at least you're seeing a different side so they don't look like carbon copies of each other. In my mind, I feel like that helps. God, I would do like anything to have some more landscaping options in The Sims 4, I'm not kidding. Okay, easel, so you could paint grandpa before he ends up here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, sorry, that's a bit dark. I want a stone, but I don't want the stone to clash with the floor. All right, let's figure out how I want to do this in the front of the lot, because I think I want to do something similar with the roses, but I'm not sure how. <laughs> I don't feel like I'm good at this kind of landscaping. Although I guess because I, this is gonna sound bad too, but because I'm trying to make it look like The Sims 3, it doesn't have to be good, does it? It's meant to be nostalgic, not pretty. <laughs> okay, now we gotta like alt place these to center them better and then rotate them around, okay. Now it does look like The Sims 3, I'll give myself that. It really, I just think it's these bushes that are giving me those vibes. And then I wanna get some lights, possibly just these, cause they fit perfect on there. So if we just put them on the corners, okay. 
Same thing inside. How does it look at nighttime? How I expected it to look at nighttime. I think I want to do something to fix this. I'm not really sure what. I think maybe like a trim, a floor trim could help. I don't really want to like build a church here. I just want to make something that looks sort of like a, a church-like building because it feels like something you would find here, which is why I'm not like furnishing it like a church. I'm not really sure what to furnish it like, to be honest with you. This is a chance for me to use these curtains that I never use, so I'm gonna take advantage of it. Barely any light, just the way we like it. <gasps> oh my god, I didn't even think- Flaming toilet trophy? Hang on, we have to replace Skyla's with that. <laughs> In this Let's Play, we've got a toilet that keeps catching fire. That- uh, we have to use that. Absolutely have to, there's no choice. <laughs> it's a necessity. Is there like a tall, skinny, perhaps, fireplace? I don't know why I want to put a fireplace in here. I can't think of a reason. Honestly, it's mostly just because this way there'll be some more stuff in here. <laughs> like, it's mostly just a way to get stuff in this room. Okay, now what? <laughs> I've put some random things in here. Now what do I do? I want to put a couch, but the room's too small. Like, I tried to put two chairs here, but it didn't really fit. I guess a little couch wouldn't be so bad. Okay, this is a mistake, but I'm gonna do it anyway. This is a good chance to use this weird candle thing I never use. I don't know. <laughs> just putting random furniture in this room. Basically, it doesn't really matter what's in there, because you're never gonna go in there. It's more just to have stuff out here. And then we make the lot spooky. For some inexplicable reason, this lot attracts wandering ghosts. I think I kind of like it. I sort of want to scoot this around. I might try and put the easel there. I might try and get a chess table. I know, I put a chess table in every single lot. This is the last thing I'll do, I promise. But think about it, you could come play chess with your ghost family, you know? What? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice to play chess with your ghost family? I kind of like it. And it's got room to grow. It's not my prettiest lot, but it's functional. And honestly, I feel like it kind of fits into the area. Like, we, this is the vampire world. Like, come on. Pretty soon we'll have one right here, don't worry. <laughs> my Sam is old. She's just barely an elder, but we're playing on short lifespan, so like... The clock is ticking. Days left, five. Yeah, see? I will put this on the gallery if you want it. Because again, maybe you just want to throw a graveyard in so you can come visit grandma. That's fine. You can use this one. But it will come with my gravestones. So just keep that in mind. And on that note, I will see you all tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, everybody. I've done some weird builds recently. I've got in my schedule planned to make a toilet-shaped house. Like, where- what are we doing? What is this channel anymore?